What is up everybody, Madcap here, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. So we've got a couple random things that I want to do on this episode. Uh, try to build the buffet for one, get the Florate Diamond, and maybe just make some more graveyard stuff. Um, I would also like to reset my zombies as well. Uh, and do that. So that's gonna be a thing we do. Also, I realized I had moved my blue books. So I think that might be why I'm not seeing blue books. Oops. I'm gonna reset them anyways just in case, but yeah, I went looking around for the rope and or hemp to make it with, and I found a whole bunch of blue books. So I think they have been making them. They've just been going to... A different area which kind of sucks because I thought they were just gone but anyways let's grab some of this stuff um, well I, j I need the rope so shouldn't I just grab that wouldn't that just be easier should I just grab 10 of it so I just grab all of it I mean why not right and I can just grab all your seeds Start making some more. Yeah, let's just do that. That's going to be easier in the long run. Um, we're still not cooled off there. I should have waited for the merchant day. Probably would have been smarter, right? I mean, I could wait. That's That takes so long, though. I'm just going to go down. Alright, let's just go here. And go this way. I have some stuff I need to get rid of, too. Hmm. Should I just do that now? I don't know. I'm down here. Well, let's go ahead and move the zombies around. Uh, what can I get rid of? Uh, rope, planks, and nails. Need to get rid of this stuff upstairs. Need to get rid of this outside the church. I'm just gonna read these. Just reset everything here. And that's another what? A couple hundred points, I think? 400 points? Oh man. Well, at least we all learned a valuable trick, right? I mean, there's that. Uh, five, ten. Should I just... Okay, let's let's think about this logically. Bookshelf. Nails. Flitch. Okay, let's... Let's get our old handy-dandy thing out here. Nails. Twelve. Flitch. I need eighteen, is that? Oh, eight. Right, so I'm glad I moved my mouse. And we need... Uh, simple iron parts. We need four. Okay. That's not terrible. I'm just gonna make a bookshelf and I'm gonna store all these books on it. Instead of trying to cram them in here, because this is out of hand. Let's... I, I could get rid of this. I don't technically need it anymore. I'm gonna keep these down here for now. Seems like a smarter idea, right? Where can I even build a bookshelf, I wonder? Hmm. I could move those. No, I probably wouldn't fit all of those. Hmm. I need storage room. Is what I'm looking for. I don't know if a scroll shelf would be smaller. Eh, well, let's just go get some materials. So, first things first, let's walk up here. I need to build something else in here, too. I don't want to forget before Purple Sunday. I can't rely on buying two candles. Uh, okay, let's drop both of these here. Why not? There's a random spirit orb here. Sure, it works for me. It doesn't need to be there, but that's okay. And we'll bring a couple wood with us. I don't think I need a lot of wood right now. I think I brought a bunch last time, didn't I? 
Or at least I went and cut some. I don't know if I necessarily brought it from anywhere. Hey, hey, no. Bad log. I need to go grab grapes, probably. I could do that. I could get copper grapes. That wouldn't be a terrible idea, because if you look here... Copper wine is still plus 30 health and 60 energy. That's pretty nice. Because health potions aren't the easiest thing to make. I mean, granted, wine isn't either, but you get 20 from it. So if I'm making silver wine, 30 health, 72 energy. So, I don't know. Seems like it might be a decent idea. Uh, let's grab all of these. And then put three back. Get rid of the berries. And then start storing some of this stuff. Those are all made things. Wood, wood, wood. Uh, oh, I had a bunch here. Aw, oh, man. This is the one spot I didn't look, of course. <laughs> Whatever. Five rope. Uh, store you. Store that. Uh, okay, I need planks. Nails. How many planks do I have? I have 15. I need 15. Great. I need 20 nails and 8 flitch. So 8 flitch, 15. And how many nails do we have left? I need 20 of them. Hey, alright, I can do that. Simple iron parts. Need those. I actually don't think I have to make anything. This is brilliant! Okay, let's drop off our seeds. Ooh, I can gather this stuff too. Let's do our seeds then. And then I can get the hemp seeds going. Replant these. And then maybe what? Oh, I just need to go get my... I need to get my warpy do device. Because if I'm going to walk over to... The merchant guy, I would like to warp back. So I don't have to walk all the way back again. And put our seeds away. Let's see how many of these I can do again. Before I start messing with the hemp seeds. Okay, I'm out of wheat seeds. But I'm not out of carrots. Now I'm out of carrots. Okay, hemp seeds I can do two of. Perfect. Uh, do I have anything else in my inventory? No. Alright, grab our warp stone. And then walk over there. We're almost... We're almost to dawn. I better do this, though. Make sure it's dawn. Because I don't want it to... There we go. I don't want it to be right before dawn that I'm sitting there waiting for like 12 minutes. At least this way we know it will be dawn. We can talk to the guy, buy the seeds, and then from there we should have enough to build the buffet. The buffet, we can build the bookshelf. Yes. Okay, perfect. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Uh, ooh, I'm getting pretty close to a gold, actually. Okay, grape seeds. I'm just, oh, that's a lot of money, but that's fine. Are these the same price? They are. Ugh. You're a scurvy demon. Ooh. How much would this actually cost me? Eight. 20. Holy bagoli. What if I cut out... Uh, maybe I shouldn't mess with these yet. Because remember, there's only a chance. Like, if I make these, there's a chance they don't come out silver. So it's probably best not to mess with that. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. That should be fine, right? Okay, 
Yeah, I don't think I need to go get wheat right now, particularly. So let's just go home. I should do the seeds now. I'm trying to keep track of all this in my head, which is... I've got a couple pages of things written down, which is good. That always helps me out. So let's get these grapes going. Grapes! I already have some here. Awesome! Alright. That, this, that, and that go in here. So if we do... I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't even have to make anything super useful. I was gonna say, maybe I do bronze on the left, silver on the right. Don't think it matters all that much. That one's already set for bronze anyways. There we go. All right, we've got a decent amount of grapes going here. Ching! And that leaves us. Grapes are done. We can go build things now, right? Yeah, we should be able to get down there. Build our two thingamajigs. And actually, I'm up here. So technically, I can build that thing up here, can't I? Uh... Oh no, the buffet's over there! Right... I'm in the completely wrong area. One buffet coming right up. Well, that actually takes a decent amount of energy to build this thing. Oh yeah. Beer? Gold star? Why does it have to be gold star? I better write that down. Uh, okay, get ten gold. I don't I don't even have any sort of method to get gold beer yet. I just barely got wine. Fantastic. Maybe I don't need both necessarily. Maybe if I could do one. Like burgers probably wouldn't be terrible, right? Uh home. Home, James! Okay, now we can just do this, go down here. And build a bookshelf, bookcase, whatever it's called. Maybe. Unless I don't have room for it. I mean, what's a scroll shelf? Is that... I mean, so far it looks like anything can be built on anything. I don't want that to be all the way over there, though. Although, I could... Hmm, this doesn't actually fit really anywhere, does it? If I did this... I think this will work. Because what I can do is take all this crap out... Move it down here. Move the books up there. Because this is more in line with the alchemy bench anyways. So I think this would work better. It's still where it needs to be to store everything. Which is handy. Uh, that, that. And then the books can go over here. Because they're closer to these guys. Right, okay. Books can't store all those. Right. Probably should have emptied my inventory first, but I'm not that bright, unfortunately. Okay, books are stored there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then all of you are stored here. Yes! That's a little bit more organized. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Ugh, ugh, get out of here. No, don't do that. I don't think I need to reset these guys, but yeah, I already planned to, so let's just go ahead and do it. It still bothers me that one of these has three, even after the zombie's gone. Hey, Snake! Just seems a tad bit peculiar. Okay, reset. Reset. There we go. Alright. You. Go there. I can't move through you. 
Why? Okay, let's just set all these up. Book. No, don't do two. I just want to do a book. And then do it infinitely. I think that's the way to do this. Book. E. Infinite. Escape. Book. E. Infinite. Escape. They all say two so far. Book. E. Infinite. Escape. That one says two. Okay, so far so good. E. Infinite. Book. E. Infinite. Okay, they all say two. That's good, right? Wait, how do, what order do I do these in so I don't get stuck? If I go out this way from the inside, put. Put. And. Put. I also like this because. It gets everybody mostly on the same page here. Put. And put. No, not that. Put. See, now... Okay, this is good because now everything says two, and everybody, except for the ones... I mean, I guess they're all going to be at slightly different paces because they're slightly better in the end. But now they're all basically at the same pace, so my OCD feels a little bit better about this now. I can, I can live with this. Build buffet. Done. Okay. Last thing probably on the list here. I would think... I have... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Come on, diamond. You better be a diamond. Yes! Come on. And I have that gem perk, right? Oh, baby, five diamonds! I will accept that heartily. Hell yeah! Um, okay, actually, I guess I didn't have to go drop that stuff off. I dumped my inventory out because I was thinking of doing a floor here. So I'm like, eh, I kind of would rather just do... Am I going the right way? Yes, I remember that thing. I would kind of rather just do an episode where we do another two or three floors, to be honest. Because uh, I think we still have more, don't we? Or... Do I... Yeah, I still have a whole row. But I haven't finished floor 10. So we need to do that still. And get that taken care of. But I think that's all I really wanted to accomplish in this episode. It's not a whole lot, but it's kind of some housekeeping stuff. Floor 8 diamond is done. We got the diamond done. We got the buffet done. I got my guys reorganized. We found our points. We got some organization done. I think that's pretty good. So maybe in the next episode we can just go through and do do some dungeons. I'm going to write that down as well so I don't forget. Do dungeons. Because now I've got some wine. So I've got the 30 health and the energy. So I can take less items in. And then consume those as we go. And maybe we can build some more grave stuff. Because that's on the list to do as well. Get that to 200. Talk to the priest guy and see what the heck he's going to give us. Maybe we can upgrade the church, make it even better, get more prayer orbs, and all that fun stuff, and just see what else we can do here. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay metal!